All right, we're going to be reconstituting uh, Pregnal or HCG. Um, comes as a 10,000 unit vial. So inside the box, you're going to have this little box of Pregnal, and then the pharmacy should supply you with a 10 milliliter uh, syringe, and then there's also a little needle in there and some alcohol pads. So step one, we're just going to make sure that everything's included. You should have two vials in here. Uh, there you go. So one of these is the pregnal oil or the pregnal powder, and then you're going to have some saline or bacteriostatic water. Um, the caps on them are just to keep everything sterile, um, but we're going to wipe them down with alcohol no matter what. Then we've got our syringe, uh, syringe and needle combo, and then we have our alcohol pads. So we're going to open one of these little alcohol pads up, remove the plastic caps, and then just press and give them a wipe. Same thing here, press and give them a wipe. And then we're going to open our syringe. Um, sometimes, depending on the supply, the pharmacy may give you a 20 or a 5 or like a different size syringe or it may look a little different. Um, but no matter what, for our purpose, we're always going to do 10 milliliters. Even if that means the syringe is only a 5 ml, we're just going to do the 5 mls of saline. We're going to do that twice. So with this one, it's nice and easy because this is a 10 ml, so it's very easy to measure. One tip, never touch the sterile tips there so that we get a nice sterile connection. Same thing when you open these supplies, open them without touching the sterile tip. That way you can just lock them together and you have a nice sterile connection. Now that we know that these are both, these have both already been wiped with the alcohol, we are going to switch our water and put that in to the syringe first. So just slowly draw 10 milliliters of the liquid. Um, Keep in mind, these vials, if you can see how that's pushing against my needle. So I'm gonna show you with this, we're actually gonna put the air back into the vial like this. So we're pushing the air up in and then see how it's, I don't even have to do anything. It just gives me the, the water. So you have to equalize it a little bit. little bit of a struggle good so now we've got now we've got our 10 mls of saline and then we're gonna go straight in you don't have to invert this for this and what you'll notice is that it's it will pull a little bit of this saline into the vial because there is a vacuum one of the most important things about this is when you're going in you have to replace the air that's in there with the fluid in here. So we're gonna push a little bit and then we're gonna let some of that air out. So you can see those little bubbles. We're gonna push, let some of the air out, right? Push, let a little bit of the air out. So we're depressurizing it with, every time we put a little fluid, we're letting a little bit of air come back until we have all of our liquid in there. And then you just remove your syringe Flip this file just very gently like this, just to get all the powder dissolved. And now we're ready to go. We're gonna put this in the fridge and now we're ready to use. And that's all there is to it.